to High God Creations. In this video, I will show you how to customize the menu at the top of the custom room interface. I'd like to warn you that I will only focus on the main points that you haven't seen yet. And important notes that you can't forget during the customization process, okay? In case you haven't seen the video advanced customization using right-click script in 3D code, then first of all, watch this video because it's of fundamental importance for understanding the process, in which I explain in detail everything you need to know about the advanced customization of commands, ok? Great! To start with the customization of the menu at the top of the interface, I will come here to this little button with an icon of paint. I'm going to click on it so that I can edit the current room settings. In this edit room window, I'm going to click and enable the option use scripts for the menu. and I'm going to click this button, edit script for the menu, so that I can edit the script for the menu at the top of the interface, okay? Great! <laughs> I know, it may seem complicated, but it's easy to understand. Actually, in 3D code, to make specific and more advanced customizations, we we'll have to play a little bit with the codes. Perfect. <laughs> if you have any questions or are not understanding anything at all, once again I tell you, check out the previous videos I made about the advanced customizations using script in 3D code. Because I really explain everything you need to know, right? Right. <laughs> so, before I start anything here inside the script, I'm going to press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select all the code here inside the script. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy. And in a new file, I will paste the code right here. I like to do it this way to have a backup of the script and anything that happens i will have a way to reverse any problems okay now <laughs> as you can see <laughs> we will find many functions here inside the script <laughs> but the first important thing we need to know here is that all the main functions of the top menu will be easily identified by the word void before the function name, ok? Void, for those who don't know, it's just a type of function. Each function will have specific commands for a certain purpose, and that depending on the different situations or conditions, these commands may or may not be shown in the menu. In this script, menu.cpp, we will find all the corresponding functions of the menu at the top of the interface related to all the rooms. There are menus that appear in the interface for all rooms, but there are also menus that will only appear if we are in a certain room, ok? For example, the functions import menu, export menu, textures menu, layers menu, and hide menu, as you can see here, they are specific to the paint room, ok? The geometry menu function is specific to the scoped room. And 
Because my custom high god creations room was created based on the scoped room, I will have here the geometry menu, right? Which is, as I said earlier, specific to the scoped room, okay? The functions pre-topo menu, bake menu, and paint bake menu are specific to the retopology and modeling rooms, right? Right. <laughs> now, also the other functions, which I haven't mentioned here yet, you can notice that they all appear for our rooms. The file, edit, view, symmetry, curves, windows, script, help. As you can see here, all are present. And another interesting thing that I haven't told yet is that the freeze menu is common in both rooms, the paint room and the scoped room. Good. I would like to warn you, in this video, I will not talk about this main function because I will explain everything that's happening here in another video, okay? So, this function here, create add menu, corresponds exactly to the add menu that appears here at the top of the interface, okay? And why I'm at it in this function create add menu or the edit menu, but it could be any other function here in the script. Do you see this menu item PS projecting commands function that is commented out? Yeah. This means that when you see a function that is commented, as in the case with this one, it's because such functionality at the moment must not be working correctly inside the program. So, leave the commented function as it is, to avoid instability problems in the program. Don't touch it for the time being, ok? When you start to customize the menus at the top of the interface the way you want, remember the important things I have talked about in the previous advanced customization videos. But I will highlight just two at this point. There are simple functions, like these ones here, which have only a single line of code. But there are other more complex ones, ok? So, when you select a function to reposition it inside the menu, always check if the function has a block of commands. Usually, this type of function appears in the script as follows. Function name, open parentheses, close parentheses, inside function parameters, closing with a semicolon, opening curly bracket, a block of commands, and closing curly bracket. So, for this kind of function, you must select the function with the whole command block. For example, the function menu submenu gizmolis, which is inside the create add menu function, corresponds to the transform without gizmo command inside the add menu, right? Right. <laughs> but what if I want to reposition this command somewhere else here inside the edit menu? How do I do this? I go back in the script. I select from the beginning of the function menu submenu gizmolis to the closing curly bracket of the command block of the same function, ok? Selected everything I need. I will press Ctrl X on the keyboard to cut. And I choose the position I want. This time, I will put it under the node baking tool function, or rather, 
the parameter node bake to and I will press Ctrl V so I can paste the function menu submenu gizmos. I'm going to save this script. I will close it. I will go back to 3D code and press the OK button to confirm my changes. Now, when I click the Edit menu, you can see that I put the transform without gizm command in the last position here on the add menu, right? Right. <laughs> Just to remind you, this command was exactly in the third position. Now I put it in the last position. Perfect. I'm going back to the menu.cpp script. From the button edit script for the menu. Another thing I'd like to talk about is that it's very important to pay attention to the conditional structure if and the other if else conditional structures. Why? If a function is inside a conditional structure, then it's necessary to respect this situation, okay? This means that we must always leave the function inside the conditional structure that it belongs to. So, being here inside this script, I will look for the function geometry menu, which is right down there, right here as you can see. This geometry menu function is equivalent to the geometry menu here at the top of the interface. Inside the geometry menu, there are several functions corresponding to the commands in this geometry menu. What if I want the decimate command to be repositioned to the first position in the menu? How would I do this? As you can see, the decimate function is inside an if a surface conditional structure. What does this mean? It means that this decimate command will only be shown in the menu if we are in surface mode, okay? This is extremely important for the correct operation of the program. So, I will need both the decimate function and the if a surface conditional structure. Therefore, I'm going to select the entire decimate function. With everything selected, I press Ctrl X on my keyboard to cut. And on top of the show statistics function, right there, I'm going to press Ctrl V on the keyboard to paste the decimate function. Great. Now, all that is missing is the if a surface conditional structure. I will select from the beginning of the conditional structure if a surface until after the open curl bracket of the conditional structure. Selected what I need, I will press Ctrl C on my keyboard to cut. I'm going to back up there on top of the decimate function and I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste the conditional structure. But very important now, pay close attention because right now we are missing a very important thing, and that is the closing curly bracket of the if a surface structure. At this moment, we don't have it. It can cause serious problems. So, for that, I come under the decimate function, and on the keyboard, I press the closing curly bracket key. Great. And to prove to you that I have done everything right, here inside the script, I'm going to save the script, close it, 
back in 3D code, press OK. And when I come here in the geometry menu, as you can see, I have successfully repositioned the decimate command to the first position here inside the geometry menu, right? Right. <laughs> Now, I will show you how to completely customize the menu edit of the custom room High Guard Creations. According to this list I have planned here. Sounds good, right? I will return to the menu.cpp script. And being here inside this script, the first thing I will do is look for the edit menu, okay? And as you already know, the edit menu can be found easily with the word void before the function name. As I already found here, the first thing we can observe here in the list I have planned is that at least the first two commands. I won't need to do anything at all because they are identical, okay? So, the next commands that you do are related to the preferences and customize UI commands. What I need to do here is just find the function corresponding to the command. In this case, here, the options function is equivalent to the preferences command. What I need to do is just select it, cut it, and place it in the location I defined in my list. I will do some things here that you may already know why I do this. Let's go to the next one, which is the customize UI. I will do the same thing and I will reposition according to what I see here in my list. I already have both functions up here. And to prove that I'm really doing my customization right, I'm going to save. I will close this script and I will confirm my changes. As you can see now, I have preferences and customize here underneath the undo and redo commands, right? Right. <laughs> I will go back to the script menu.cpp. And the next command I'm going to look at here are the commands load hotkeys and save hotkeys. Both commands are already here, okay? Here is the create add menu function. And I will just need to select them. Cut them out with Ctrl X on the keyboard and position them below the two commands I just put it here. I will paste them with Ctrl V. And what we will need now? A separator bar. So I will have to copy this menu separator function to have this separator bar underneath. And once again, I will save. Close this script and show you that I already have it here. Correctly in the position that I have planned here in my menu, right? Right. <laughs> so let's go quickly for the next commands here. I have transform without gizmo. Exactly the one I <laughs> that I put here. <laughs> to show you one of the important things one more time, I will select the entire function, not forgetting the command block, even the closing curly bracket, I cut with Ctrl X. And one more time here at the bottom, I will press Ctrl V. I'm going to copy a separator bar through this menu separator function. And Position it below the transform without gizmo command. Let's take a look at 3D code. Let's see how it's looking. Edit, menu, and now you can see that I have successfully repositioned the transform without gizmo here inside the menu. Great. Once again, 
being the create edit menu function my next step will be the commands external editor projection scale and edit projections in external editor and first of all i already noticed that all the commands i need from the list all these are exactly positioned here inside this if not a new scene conditional structure so what do i need to do i've already discovered that the external editor projection scale command is right here even because all commands in this case are named then it gets easier i will select it ctrl x and place it in the position according to my list that i have planned i put it on top of this group and the other command is edit projections in external editor so it is this one i select cut and one more time under the command external editor projection scale i place this other command now i go according to my list i have a separator bar I'm going to copy this separator bar here. Selected, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste the separator bar. Great. So, one more time to show it as always. I will save this script, close it, back in 3D code, accept my chance. And now, as you can see here, I have here external editor projection scale and edit projections in external editor commands exactly as I planned here in my list, right? Right. <laughs>
to show you that I did everything right. I will highlight it right here. And as you can see, I have undo, redo, preferences, customize UI, load hotkeys, save hotkeys, transform without gizmo, extend edge to project on scale, edge to project in external scale, project proof, sync layer with external editor, edit all layers in external editor, edit all roughness layers, edit all metal layers, bake shader nodes, convert older materials, relocate to the code's data, and reset settings. Exactly as I had planned here in my custom menu, right? Right. <laughs> I hope you have learned something new and as always, I will see you all in the next video. See you there.